Uh, this is August the 22nd. Um, yesterday, uh, the turtle, the wild turtle we call amazing, um, ate really well with uh, vegetables and worms. Um, now today, amazingly, uh, it, normally it was just, um, you know, just sitting in the water and snoozing, but today he has even got the right back leg out, which, um, and he's supporting his weight on it, which is an amazing thing because he has had that uh, leg holding that leg in or just barely his foot has uh, been, um, uh, you know, just the foot has been out. But now uh, it's almost out as far as the other leg, but not quite. Uh, this is August 23rd, and this is the wild turtle uh, update. Uh, day before, uh, let's see, day before yesterday, I gave this turtle uh, scrambled eggs and other vegetables, I mean, and vegetables rather, and I put a little bit of coconut oil, which is a good lube for, for uh, people, and I believe that uh, good fats, quality fats, um, a little tiny bit is good for lubricating the turtle uh, intestines too. And lo and behold, there is a very, very large um, stool that came out. And um, that, that is very good. So this morning, I have the scrambled eggs again. I scrambled six eggs for us and the turtle. And I used one teaspoon of extra virgin cold pressed coconut oil in the pan, one teaspoon, with six eggs. And this time I'm using, I used one fresh garlic clove in there, which is a, it has antibiotic properties in it. I also went out and got some chives because supposedly turtles eat onions in the wild, so I chopped up some chives this time, and a little bit of tomato, and a little bit of red pepper. I have them all separated there because I just kind of want to see what type of food is his favorite. I have it on a rock. I have him, uh, I'm using an emitter here, over here on the edge, and I'm gonna be moving it uh, a little bit, um, uh, a little bit further over in the corner. I don't want this, uh, the vegetables and all, to have any heat source hitting it. Now, what I did with, uh, with this turtle, I had the heat emitter right at the edge of the water dish. I don't put an emitter right over the water dish um, unless uh, the water is very cold and I just warm it up slightly and then move it away. You don't want to leave a heat source right directly over the water. So I had it right on the edge and the water went up to like 78 degrees in the water dish and that is the result. To my amazement this turtle just had another bowel movement. Um, I removed, I I just did a video and then I cleaned it right away, the water dish. You want to do that when you see any uh, bowel movements in the water. You want to change it right away. Well, lo and behold, uh, this dear wild turtle has gone over and uh, I laid some paper towels down because I've got to clean out and wash these. Right now I'm using um, rags in order to... Um, uh, you know, keep it as clean as possible, these bot hole holes. So the turtle has um, gone underneath this emitter and is enjoying. Uh, I keep using the temp gun, and um, 
it has, uh, I try, I'm trying to keep it, um, you know, there is uh, controversy on what uh, temperature is for a sick turtle. So I'm trying to um, uh, keep it between 80 and it, it uh, I have to keep watching it may go up to 85. Now when it gets a little bit uh, warm, he'll move away from it, I've noticed, so I keep uh, trying to adjust it. So I just have it over here in the corner of this uh, big Rubbermaid tub, but amazingly, um, he didn't eat any of the uh, what I had here, but he ate very well two days ago. So this um, extra virgin uh, cold press coconut oil is really lubricating and cleaning out uh, his intestines. My word, I can't believe there's another very large bowel movement. Unbelievable. I just checked with the temp gun to see uh, because a turtle seems extremely content and I have the heat source all the way over in the corner of this um, uh, of this uh, Rubbermaid uh, tub and uh, uh, on one side of them it was uh, 84.9 and on the other side it was 82. Now being he's sick and being he's enjoying this immensely and not moving away from it um, I, I think sometimes if you let your turtle be the guide he, they know what they need and you watch them, and he has hovered over, as you know, right on. He's kind of like right at the edge of it. So he is really, really enjoying that basking. And this is the first time that after the second bow movement, that he is just really, really enjoying uh, basking.